All right, guys, KB32 here kicking out. We're sitting out here in the, uh, what do you call this thing? The Freedom Shack. You guys haven't seen Freedom Shack in a very long time. Anyway, this is a different view. Uh, actually uh, loading up some nine millimeter so we can go out and test the uh, AVR, ARV from uh, Palmetto State Army tomorrow. And then I've got to test out the, the my PCC Elite because she's not doing what I'd like to see. Uh, it's okay if it doesn't because I'm going to use the GMR-15 by Ethan Manning, Manning and Sons up there in Illinois down in Talladega. So in any case, um, yeah. So today, uh, the, that Chipman guy uh, was going through his confirmation hearing, which I think is kind of hilarious. Look at my hair. Uh, I'm getting old. We got the receding hairline going on here. So that jackass uh, said it right out in there, according to Mr. Guns and Gadgets. Uh, yeah, he wants to ban everything. Anything that has a detachable magazine and semi-automatic firearm is an assault weapon, rifle, whatever you want to call it. What a crock of shit. Uh, this guy is has a total conflict of interest, simply put by being involved with Giffords, uh, group, uh, every town for new town, Bloomberg, get six figure salaries from these jackasses. Um, it's just disgusting. Hold on one second. You know what? If you guys reload, you know what that sound means. Um, so anyway, I got a bunch of these. Right here. Uh, so we can uh, reload and we got primers. Beautiful sound. Watch. Oh, yeah. So, in any case, what an asshole. Um, in all honesty, man, what a, what a complete, total asshole. Uh, it's interesting to me that he works for an organization that I wish was pro-gun, but they're not. They're not pro-gun. What the hell happened to my little thing? Um, but this guy jumps up there. He's anti-gun as he gets. Of course, Biden puts him in there because he is anti-gun. He's got a proven track record of being anti-gun. He's not pro-Second Amendment. That's for damn sure. So anyway, uh, this son of a bitch is going to be up there, and if the Democrats have their way, they're going to have an anti-gun person at the helm of the ATF, which, you know, kicks me. I just wish the ATF was uh, pro-gun. Wouldn't that be cool? Hey, listen, man, we really want you guys to uh, get out there and get some more firearms and have fun and protect yourself. And, of course... You know, you've got this incident that happened down at San Jose uh, on a rail yard, which most likely was California. So those individuals are not able to carry guns on the certain property and protect themselves, like the Second Amendment says. So anyway, absolutely a crock of shit. Uh, another thing that happened today, I talked to an individual. We're going to get some more news. But... Uh, it appears that somebody made a contact with a director level individual at YouTube or Google. And, uh, uh oh, I got a blockage up here. And I got to fix. Hold on. This happens on the case. You actually are going to be able to see this, and I'm going to fix it. So we got to pull this out here. It's probably because I got a 40 cal stuck up in there. Just casing. Well, I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway, let's put that out there. And we'll drop that bad boy back in place. And that, let's see if that works. So anyway, uh, yeah, California, unable to protect themselves, uh, as the Second Amendment says. And here's a jackass that makes the entire gun community look bad. It's some major shit, and I'm sick and tired of it. And it's ironic that, you know, all of a sudden this Chipman guy is, you know, being uh, going through a confirmation hearing. And all of a sudden, the anti-gun narrative starts, and bang, here's a guy that goes nuts and takes down eight people, including, I guess, including himself, which, what a piece of shit, coward-ass individual for doing that. Oh, we were getting back to the YouTube thing. So, with a company that is run by a bunch of Californians and is uh, by a bunch of children who, uh, you know, believe in you know, all that equity and everything else, they sure as hell aren't giving us any equity in the firearm community. I, I can't tell you how excited I am to actually get back out 
and go shoot it. Now, I don't have my fan or air conditioning running out here right now, so it's 93 degrees outside, and you can only imagine how hot it is right now inside. But, uh, guys, shit's about to get real. This jackass, hold on, I got to... I have to grab some more brass from the brass container. There we go. Come on now. Just get me through the end of this video. I'm going to try to burn it up about 300 rounds tomorrow. Uh, nine millimeter pistol caliber carbines are a great tool for people to uh, test out uh, these uh, like red dots and optics. So it's a lot of fun. We're going to be testing out, of course, the primary arms red dot. They've sent out this new one that is specifically geared towards a nine millimeter. Uh, it's called, what the hell is it called? Anyway, I'll, I'll remember what it's called. But uh, guys, Chipman, YouTube, and, and crazy people. That's what we're dealing with today. Anyway, I just wanted to do a real quick video. I don't have a whole lot of time in the world right now, uh, just between work and uh, testing out new equipment, getting ready for a competition and uh, just busting my ass all around. But you know what? Here's the deal. If you're an American, you need to be busting your ass 24 seven because that's who we are. Not these jackasses wanna sit at home, collect unemployment and have fun on somebody else's dime. That shit kicks my ass. With that being said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so. With red, white, and blue, God bless America, God bless those men, women in uniform. 24 seven for our freedom, freedom's not free. I'm KB32 and I'm out of here.